Hey everybody, this is Matt from Big Little Robot, and I'm bringing to you the Mega Steel MS-01 Granville, or is it Tronus, or I'm going to guess it's Storm Emperor, only because that's what I can see uh, on the inside, which you obviously can't. So, I'm just going to put that right back over there, and talk a little bit about the box and what I see in front of me. And, yeah, I mean, not bad. Who doesn't like this glimmering, shiny steel? Got the nice red foil branding over here on the top. Nice red foil model number down here on the bottom. Nice red foil image of his head. And then you got... Well, then you got... Um, then you have, well... That's it. Well, if that's not interesting enough, why don't we try to take a look at what we can see? And, oh, you can't see it. Oh, I got the reflection of the lights. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this box, and we're going to see exactly what is inside. And here is the instruction manual that came on the inside. And i got to say, this thing is abs this thing's jacked up. This thing is just crunched up and ripped apart. I actually tried to do my best to flatten it out. But this thing was literally just destroyed. It wasn't protected by any kind of plastic or anything like that. It wasn't packaged. It was just kind of stuffed in there. It looked like somebody just jammed it right into the box. But if it's any consolation, it still has that glimmery, shiny steel. And it's got the red foil over here in the print and in the picture and a little bit on the back. But then that's it. Really. That's kind of a waste of money. This wasn't. This isn't even necessary. They could have left this just the way it is with the instructions here, which by the way are actually pretty good and really helpful during the transformation. But they could have just left this as is. They didn't have to waste their money on all of that. But enough about that. Let's get into the robot. And check it out guys and gals. This is him in robot mode and he is a bad mamma jamma. I gotta say the amount of detail on this is quite impressive. I like all these uh, I like, I like all these like, little recesses in here and these panel lines and the head sculpt is really quite nice. So, oh wow, that goes around 360. No problem. Doesn't catch on anything. Um, a little bit of a tilt up and, up and down. Gotta love the nice little tribal tats on his chest. Nice little mason chain here for whipping butt and taking names. Plenty of guns over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. Because you can never have enough guns. And turning to the back because I didn't have any extra place to put it. Nice sort of Energon sword. It's actually it's actually quite nice. It's not all that bad. It's a very nice clear crystal. Not translucent. You can see straight through the thing, so that's kind of nice. I'll put that right back on there. I, I, I don't like this, though. I don't like the other side of it. That's kind of a letdown. It's just all hollow. They didn't have to do that. They could have covered that up. They could have made it full on both sides. That's a little bit of a disappointment. That's like a half job right there. So that's one disappointment. Coming back on over here. I definitely like like this. They can This can move up and down over here, which is pretty cool. And totally comes off. Take that away. Matter of fact, why don't I just take this off too? Because we'll go into transformation mode right after this. Got another gun right over here. That's pretty neat looking. I'm gonna take this off. This is going to stay on. This I don't think this comes off, so I'm gonna leave it. This does come off. And something I really like about this sort of laser cannon over here and this over here is that it has two different pegs on the inside. So the shorter peg allows it to stay flush up against the character's arm, which is really nice. Uh, the alternate peg would be used for the hand. But you can see with the alternate peg, the alternate, alternate peg would be too long. But I also think it's kind of a waste because you could have just made this, you could have made this hole, this recess here, just a little deeper and keep the length of this. So there's another design flaw over here. Or if you don't want to call it a design flaw, a waste of money in design. Same thing goes with this too. There's also another way for him to hold it. 
or if to not hold it, hide it in another location, which I'll show you guys during the transformation. But this can fold in like this, and there's actually a reason why that does that. And we'll lay this off to the side. Why this folds up and down, I haven't figured that out yet. I really don't understand. I don't get it. I have, I, 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 just, I don't know. I still haven't figured it out. But if someone could tell me, I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, we'll leave this to the side. Take this mace over here, and we'll leave this to the side. I gotta say though, uh, these accessories, I'm not really that impressed actually. This much might be the only part that's impressive, and I'd probably just use this as a keychain, honestly. I don't think it's all that great though. I mean, this plastic does feel a little cheap, and uh, definitely feels like it's gonna break. But you're not gonna be bending it in these parts, so I really don't see any problems that will occur with them in the future. As far as articulation goes, he can bend here in the elbows, and there is a swivel over here, a swivel in the wrists, then on both sides. The shoulder pads actually move up and down, and when I first opened them up, they would just fall down. So there are a couple screws in the back. You have to tighten them or loosen them, depending on, on your preferences and how you want his shoulders to look, too. But that was something that I needed to do, and I hated that. Um, there is no waist swivel. Um, if there is, I'm definitely doing it wrong. I think there might be something there. There might be some semi-waist swivel. But there's so much kibble that gets into the way, it really doesn't allow you to do that. So don't even bother trying. Um, but like earlier, or if I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the, the head is on a swivel and it can move up and down. The head can rotate 360 degrees, so that's pretty cool. And over here, we have knee joint, it's your standard ratchet joint, and he can move his leg up 90 degrees up front, but not in the back because his underwear, or his little black diaper, is in the way. So, uh, but these flaps fold onto the side, looks like he can do splits to a total of, well, almost. but. I've never seen anybody really pose their figures in those kinds of positions. So it's not something that I would really worry about. Um, there are, he does have um, a swivel in the ankles moving forward and back, but not, oh yeah, he does. He has a little bit of an ankle swivel too. So that's pretty cool. And, oh, these are made of die cast. These are metal over here. Um, this figure is heavy. This guy's actually pretty heavy for his size. I, would, I didn't think he'd be like that, but that's um, that feeling. That's kind of a reassuring feeling, actually. I, I like it when the figures are a little bit heavier; they just feel a little more sturdy. But um, we're going to find out pretty soon why. Actually, I really don't like this thing at all. So, to get this guy transformed. What we're going to do? We're going to push these knee flaps down over here like this, and then we're going to push his legs inward. This is actually kind of difficult. And they're locked, but you can pop them in there like that, if you like to be rough with the transformers that you have. And there's a peg right here in the middle, and we'll just put those together like so. We'll go to the hands and the arms next. We will lift up these flaps over here. And turn the palms facing down and flip them inward. Like so, close them up. They won't close if you have the hands flipped the other way. And we'll do the same over here. Whoops, turn that around. And sometimes the hands are actually really tight. They're really hard to pull, to take these out after you've put them in. So you might want to have a tool aside or in place. These tend to get really loose only because they're connected by a screw. And that is a total disappointment. Big fail on that, I really don't like that. Straighten the arms out. And then we're going to take this little peg over here, and there is a hole on the top here, and we're gonna connect those together. So, we'll do this one like so. This side we'll do like so, okay. Next we will take the torso and we'll fold the torso forward 
and we'll take his whole chest piece and his arms and they'll slide forward. Another big letdown is that the head always scuffs and scratches these two pieces, these two corner pieces over here as I put them in. According to the instructions, you're supposed to turn the head backwards and then you will put the head in. But no matter what I do and whatever I try, I can't keep it from scratching the head on the side. Another big letdown. I can stretch it out as far as I can, but no matter what, it always seems to catch. But when done, you take it and you can push it together a little bit like that. Then you will take these arms, you will fold them together, and if you have a problem with this peg right here, let me get this into focus. If you have a problem with this peg going into this latch over here, you might do what I do. And I took out a razor blade and I had to shave the side of it. Yeah, big, crappy, shitty thing to do. It's something I, I had to take care of, so I, I needed it to come together. And finally, after doing that, after shaving the side down a little bit, I'm still having problems. Here we go. And now it clamps together. But that was a big disappointment. I really hated that. Anyway, going back, let's separate that. Make sure this latch is down and you have a little cannon over here and that would slide in nicely like that. Go ahead and close up that clamp, that gap right there. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Am I doing this right? No, I'm not. I think the shoulders have to be back a little more. There we go. That's a better alignment. The instructions are a little misleading with that, but uh, you should be able to figure out just based on the shape and the lines. Coming around to the bottom over here, we're going to take these and we're going to fold these out. Now these actually come out like the, like so, so don't freak out. But um, they are on a double hinge, and you are going to have to you're going to have to make that hinge work. And I think it might just be better if I do that. There we go. Put that right back in, and fold that to the side like so. Might as well do it with this one too. That's a lot easier. I just get a, I have a bad feeling that it's going to break if I do it any other way. Alright, so that's out like that. And th this is something that's kind of innovative, but I think unnecessary in some way or another. They could have found a, a easier way to doing this. There are these two flaps over here and they come up like this and then I'm going to turn this around so it drops backwards. All right. And under here is nice big giant diaper from the back. This will come out like this and you'll lock this in like so. And it unfolds. It's like this like gift wrap of some sort. And it turns into this little basket-like shape. And then covers up anything that's over here. And literally, that, that's all it does. It just folds out and covers all this up, basically hiding all of the uh, excess detail. And this is kind of hard, but this actually has a peg right here and there's a little slot over there and you have to connect the dots when you get the chance. So I'm going to do it in partial because it may take a long time. I could get it in on the first try. I think I got it. Alright. Way cool. And um, you might break it. 
I guess. I don't know. It's just this thing really feels like it's going to break through the transformation. Um, you go ahead, and this is on a double hinge, and you'll take that and fold that out. And this is also on a double hinge, and you will take that out and put it back into place, like so. Turn this around. Close down the feet over here. Push in the ankles. Make sure all this is all closed up. And you're almost done. You're going to take this out here. And that co literally comes out like, I don't know, an inch. This comes out a centimeter. This comes out a centimeter. And some extra stuff here. This pops out. This pops out. Kind of a waste, if you ask me. And this pops out a little bit too. Kind of a waste, if you ask me. And that's it. That's all that comes out. And that's all that comes out. Keep this closed. And voila, there you go. Here it is in vehicle mode. Now this tank vehicle mode, I mean it actually it is pretty cool. I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie about that, but it does lack color. If this was all silver around here, some sort, then there would be at least some consistency through the design. But it looks like it's just halfway finished, and that's kind of disappointing. Um, don't worry about it rolling. I really don't think this is the, the type of figure you're going to be playing with and rolling around everywhere. If you feel better, there are these itty bitty tiny little wheels over here that barely roll. I think for the most part, their main purpose is to keep you from scuffing up the rest of the figure underneath. I, I'd like to defend it that way. But in tank mode, there really is a lack of design. Now there are other things that you can do with the accessories. Uh, this one that I showed you earlier, how the um, piece is folded in over here. This actually is supposed to connect here, up in the front. need a little bit more accessories we're gonna take this gun and where should I put this thing I'm gonna put it right over here on top I guess makes a little sense that that one over there will do that mm. where should I put this hmm I'm not just right next to it why not Maybe it'll go off in another direction. And the mace. Really no real place for it, but maybe drag it around and trip some people up. Oh, and I just pushed in the legs too. So let's take these back out. Oh, this is annoying. Like I said, the transformation really isn't a whole lot of fun. And I think that point is sorely missed. And maybe we'll just stick this right here like that. Okay. So there it is in robot mode. Overall, my personal opinion. After messing with the figure for a little while, yeah, I I enjoy the look of it somewhat. This This end of it really needs some color. Especially for vehicle mode. What I don't like is how these only go in half a centimeter to create a more streamlined you see there are some problems with the mold over here. The paint applications aren't perfect at all but if you could see it in the camera over here there's some missing paint over here. The rocket over here is missing some paint. There are a lot of scuffs and scratches over here. Not done by me. Same thing on the other side. The die cast on the feet. They're not sharp at all. Actually look quite rounded and more of some sort of basic amateur look. That's a little disappointing. Overall, in general, 
the figure is just okay. But honestly, after me having to cut this piece and remove all the screws or some of the screws and screw them back in just so the figure could be displayed correctly, definitely not worth definitely not worth a high price. Maybe not even worth purchasing. But that's my take on it, guys. I mean, it's up to you. I think this thing has a I think this thing has a lot of flaws, but there are a lot of good parts to it too. I mean, it's a really cool looking figure. And that just about wraps it up. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you'd like to pick one up, I pre-ordered mine from toyfiguremasterpiece.com. Do I think it's worth the price? Mm, I think it's kind of high for the price, but I think the job is kind of shoddy. Maybe this is their first version of it, but they really need to pick up the slack. So like I said, comments down below and anything else you guys want to know, just ask. Alright, thanks a lot. Yeah.